everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Before I start with today's video, I would like to thank all our viewers who have liked and subscribed to our channel. And if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe for exciting videos. So let's get started with our today's video. Today we are going to talk about um, string of pearls. So string of pearls is a beautiful cascading succulent um, that will add that little quirk to any house. The plant grows fast and uh, it propagates very easily and you can grow them both indoors as well as outdoors. If you are looking for a beautiful succulent to grow um, in your house then Senosio rolianus or this string of pearls um, is a great choice. Yes, the scientific name of this plant is Senecio rolianus. This succulent belongs to the deserts of East Africa where it is, uh, grows as a terrestrial uh, plant and forms as a ground cover. This plant is also known as um, rosary wine or string of beads or string of peas. So it's known by many uh, names because of the look of the leaves that it has got so basically the string of pearls as its name suggests um, it is recognized by its almost spherical p-shaped leaves that grow on these trailing vines as you can see the the leaves these these leaves are beautiful and they look like peas little peas Now let's start with the care of this plant. It is very very easy to take care of this plant. It's a very low maintenance plant like any other succulent. So starting with the lighting conditions, string of pearls plant like um, to be in a bright direct sunlight. So if you're keeping it outdoor, you can grow them under the shade like under the patio. Um, you can um, grow them in the indoor uh, as indoor hangers, hanging plants as well. Um, when you are growing uh, them, putting them indoor, make sure that you provide them with the bright indirect light. So the south or the southwest or the west facing window, which receives a lot of um, indirect bright light, um, should be the best spot for these plants. Avoid exposing these plants to direct sun because if you keep them in direct sunlight then these um, leaves or these beads they can get um, scorched they can get damaged due to the harsh sun but if you want to provide them with the morning sun or the evening sun that should be perfectly all right but not that noon hot um, strong sun regarding temperature so this succulent should be kept in an average indoor temperature of about 70 to 80 degree Fahrenheit and avoid um, keeping them in the drafty areas like near the ACs or um, near the um, hot like heaters um, kind of things or even near the open windows so that um, the cold air should not come inside because that sudden change of temperature from hot to cold or cold to hot can cause damage to the leaves and then the leaves will start dropping off with the leaves I mean to say the beads. So the beads of these plants they cannot tolerate that sudden change of temperature from hot to cold and they'll start dropping off. And probably in winters um, you might need to bring your plant inside because these plants are not frost tolerant. They are heat tolerant uh, but not um, frost tolerant plants. So during the winter season, they, like they, if you keep them outside less than 10 degree temperature, then um, they might get badly damaged. So just bring them inside during the winter season. Now moving on to the soil conditions that they need. So this plant is a succulent as I told you. Um, it needs a well draining um, soil to thrive. So make sure that the pot is well draining with lots and lots of uh, draining holes underneath and 
Um, you might even um, think of by, uh, putting your string of pearls in a terracotta pot or a non-ceramic uh, unglazed pot um, because the terracotta, terracotta pots they absorb a lot of water so even if you tend to overwater your plant the terracotta pots they tend to absorb the water leaving the soil dry so it doesn't let the soil to become soggy um, or wet for a long time because this plant the sorry the pot itself um, absorbs water and which is very very essential for these types of succulents because they don't um, like overwatering they are really really sensitive to overwatering um, only a very little um, water they need because as you can see these leaves uh, or these beads they have got a lot of water in them they are that's why they are so um, swelled out like they they um, ha store a lot of water in them so you don't need to put a lot of water in your string of pearls probably over watering will definitely kill this plant when you are choosing the pot um, choosing a perfect size of the pot is another important factor for succulents to grow well the pot needs to be big enough um, to let them to fill to the brim as if the uh, pot is too uh, big for the plant then um, the soil will stay wet for a very long time and the pearls that are resting on top of the soil um, they will they uh, are in danger of developing all the rot and all that um, growth of the pest and all that stuff so if you can see here in my pot also I have left at least an inch of a space um, it's 0.5 to an inch of a space you can leave from um, the brim of the pot you can leave it and then you can uh, put your string of pearls in it because if you fill it up to the brim and then you put your string of pearls in it so while you are choosing the pot for your uh, string of pearls always make sure that don't take a very big pot because if you take a very big pot the soil will stay soggy for a very long time and your plant will be always in danger of developing root rot and the damage to the beautiful beads of your plant so whenever you are taking and and also the the plant um, string of pearls has got a shallow root system so it's not a very big or a thick root system that they've got so um, a shallow pot like not a very big size pot is enough for these types of plants um, and also make sure that whenever you are filling the soil just leave an inch or two from the brim so that when your beads are hanging they hang from on top and they're not sticking to the pot to the soil because when you water from the top and your um, string of pearls are just sitting right on top of the soil um, and the soil is wet there are chances for um, your plant to develop the rot because the soil cannot breathe um, if all the beads are just sitting on top of your pot um, and the, like the soil will suffocate and it will develop all sort of fungus and molds and the pest will start coming in there so probably just leave some space so your pearls can hang from on top and the soil underneath gets a space to breathe all right um, so the string of pearls they prefer um, generally to be in a sandy soil mix uh, but any kind of uh, succulent potty mix will with a lot of perlite in it is the best um, um, soil type for these types of plants so basically 3 is to 1 ratio of the succulent soil mix or cacti soil mix with perlite um, lots of perlite is enough for these plants perlite or coarse sand you can use or you can use pumice um, basically it helps in proper drainage which is very very necessary for this plant this plant is very very oversensitive to overwatering so a little bit of more water and the plant will die 
so in summers what you can do watering it um, once in two weeks should be fine whereas in winters you can cut down on your watering even more maybe once in a month should be enough um, they don't need more water as I discussed before regarding fertilization um, these plants actually succulents don't need any fertilizer but you, if you still want to fertilize your succulent your string of pearls um, then maybe diluted um, a liquid based um, um, dilute uh, sorry dilute your fertilizer uh, a lot before you fertilize your plant only in the growing season and um, once in a month maybe otherwise these plants actually don't need fertilizing I have this plant with me for maybe I can say um, four to five months now and I have never fertilized my string of pearls and it's doing extremely well so it the growth is good the pearls are healthy so it's doing amazing even I have not fertilized it till now uh, but in the soil I have definitely added a little bit of compost as well to provide the nutrition but that is also not actually necessary so um, I'll talk about toxicity now so these plants are the, uh, the sap from these plants are quite toxic to humans and pets um, it can cause uh, dermatitis skin irritation to the uh, children and lethargy or drooling um, in animals when uh, children or animal they tend to eat those pearls or they consume um, the sap that comes out of those pearls so just be careful to hang these plants uh, if you're keeping them indoor or if you're keeping them outdoor they look in hangers they look good in hangers anyways so if you hang them up away from the reach of your pets and children it's a perfect uh, plant for your indoor and outdoor decoration okay so now um, talking about the propagation so these plants are very very easy to propagate you can propagate them by their stem cuttings so all you need to do is just take um, the stem at least three to four inches long probably something like this you can take it cut it from anywhere so you can basically cut it from anywhere like this node from any of the nodes you can cut it and then remove the strings the top string uh, sorry not the string sorry the pearls remove a couple of pearls from the top and then dip this part into the water if you want to go with the water propagation or if you want to go with the soil propagation um, then just take the string cut it from the top and put it on top of your soil and in a couple of weeks the roots will develop and they will automatically get attached to your soil so it's super simple that simple and just keep on spraying keep the soil moist and keep on spraying um, that cutting till it develops the roots and it will once the roots are developed then it will start giving out more branches and this is how you can propagate your string of pearls I will do one video on how to propagate string of pearls as well and I'll tell show you everything clearly in that video but otherwise you can try it at home if you want to and it's very very simple till your plant is nice healthy and green you might need to propagate some because these plants after after let's say an year or two or sometimes three or four years um, they tend to die out so before they die you might need to propagate some of those cuttings so that you don't lose your plant completely so then those cuttings will give you another new um, string of pearls but mine one is um, still young it's not that old so it might go for another maybe two or three years hopefully so friends this was all about the care and propagation of uh, string of pearls 
if you have any information or if you want to share any of your comments or if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section also please check the description box before you leave for more information and I will see you next time with another exciting video till then stay safe happy gardening See you later. Bye-bye.